So, hello everyone. Um, I'm back. And sorry about my camera jostling around if it happens at all. So, yeah, so this is a completed portrait painting of Carl Heinrich Ulrichs. Okay, having said that, uh, I am going to repaint him on this. I'm actually going to take this and I'm going to repaint it. This, this feels dusty. I don't know what I used for the background, but it is very dusty. It's coming off on my fingers. Um, and I swear I shellacked this. But from the feel of it, it's it's not shellacked. It's I mean, I got it coming up off, off onto my fingers. So I am going to at least try... Uh, According to this, I use Dirt Cheap Pens QOR Core Watercolors, because I actually managed to buy a set of those back in the day when I had a little bit of income. Um, and when Core Watercolors were totally brand new, never existed before, I actually managed to pull off buying a set. I was so happy. And I used Arteza Watercolor Pencils. So I am going to go back in and I am going to start painting just the background just like we did with the others now unfortunately i i put some water onto this purple but it didn't work um it it's like i never put any water on in the first place and it like it all dried up so i just now put some water on it hoping to reactivate it um obviously it's only had like maybe two minutes literally three minutes according to the clock here on the on the little camera to actually try to soak in so i'm not going to get much paint from this but maybe that's a good thing i do want to use the neon paint here i very much want to use the neon paint um i think i will use the neon paint but while i'm at it um let me go ahead and i'm going to pull this Pull this little magic thing out of my back pocket, my Magellan Mission Gold, because this one does have purple in it, and it has some beautiful, like, neon kind of... Thankfully, I made a full chart here. It does have bright, clear violet, and it does have red violet, which is what I'm needing. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to wet this... Is that wet on the back? Ugh. That's interesting. Um, I'm going to wet this down. The two colors that are next to the bright opera here and um i am definitely probably going to be end up using i think i'll use because there's so much blue in this already i don't need the bright violet i need the red violet because i really i turned this tone to an indigo i really turned this into an indigo and granted on the original i don't know why but on the original rainbow supposedly that at least for the white world was made up um for some odd I, you know i'm gonna go ahead and activate the opera too the opera pink i'm gonna activate all three just in case um but yeah the rainbow went indigo violet and that doesn't make sense because if you're going to include indigo you might as well include magenta and if you're going to include magenta you might as well include all of the in-between colors uh the original colors of the rainbow are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. There's only six colors. Now, if you want to do the in-between colors, you have to do red, orange, you know, in other words, yellow, orange, I mean, sorry, but you have to do red, orange, then you have to do yellow, orange, then you have to do, you know, green, yellow, then you have to do blue, green, which is a turquoise or an aqua, then you have to do blue purple which is an indigo and then you have to do purple red which brings the whole thing around back to the beginning which is a magenta and so far they don't really seem to have a name for other than like you know they they don't have a name except for brick or rusty for for the color red orange they just don't have a name for red orange uh, you can call it brown, 
but brown is like gray and black and white. It's its own independent and individual color. And it's a real question of whether or not brown is a color at all. I consider brown like black, white, and gray. It's not a color at all. It's its own independent thing. You definitely need it in art. You have to use it in art. And it's going to pop up in art because it's part of nature itself. But I don't consider it a color. But um, yeah, there's no proper name for red orange there's no proper name for orange yellow except for maybe like school bus yellow they call it that's that's a pretty good orange yellow there's no real proper name until recently for yellow green except for lime green lime green is a perfect there's also spring green that's a perfect mix between yellow and green so spring green lime green that's a really good even mix between yellow and green sometimes it's more green sometimes it's more yellow but it's a yellow green it's very bright um bright green and then green blue that's where you get the aquas and the teals teals are more supposedly green the aquas are supposedly more gr blue people argue with that some people say that aqua is more you know green and teal is more blue it doesn't matter you can either call it teal or you can call it aqua Teal or aqua just means blue, green, green, blue. It's those two primary colors mixed together. So then you get over into the blue and purple. And so when you combine blue and purple together, you get indigo. There's literally no other color at the moment or name for it. It's indigo. But then when you combine purple and red together, you get magenta. Magenta is more of a red purple it's more on the red spectrum so there you go so and why in the world they would make seven colors to the rainbow i think it's because literally literally because of the i don't know what you want to call it big brother underground government the one percent you know the big group that everybody except for you and everyone watching this is a part of um basically that so yeah literally they are really bent on you know the numbers 12 13 7 3 um who knows why but they're really bent on those numbers you know they call them good luck they call them bad luck whatever but they're really bent on those numbers and and it shows just in having seven colors in the rainbow instead of the automatic natural six colors of the rainbow so anyway my paint should have soaked hopefully long enough by now um and what i really need is a nice wide broad brush but i'm going to use what i got and hope for the best um and this is going to be one heck of a hope. So, and I'm going to use this really reddish, pinkish kind of neon here. Let's see how this goes initially. I'm, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but I'm using this one right now. It's, it's this one. This is a very, very pink. This is basically pink. It's not really purple. It's more pink. But that's what I need for this. But this is a very reddish sort of purple too. So, and initially I had I had made this very indigo. I had made this very very blue. Now I'm going to completely change it over and make it a definite. As much as I can, I'm going to make it a definite, definite purple. Like there is no mistaking it. That sucker's purple. You know. To the best of my ability um so yeah come along with me on this little painting journey of changing an already finished you know what masterpiece i'm just going to call it a masterpiece <laughs> I like that. I think that's hilarious. And on changing an already finished masterpiece into 
kind of basically something else entirely, you know. And hopefully, there'll still be a masterpiece by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> you know, it'll still look good. And my hope is that it'll look even better. That's what I aim for. Um, whether or not it'll actually look better is absolutely anybody's guess. This is going on nice and smooth so far though, so that's nice. I was trying to get a nice smooth background last time and um, last time I was doing this and, and I managed it to some degree. You know, in my opinion, I definitely managed it. Ah, now see, the red is kind of showing up there on this camera. On this camera, it's not showing up at all. My side camera is not showing up at all. But it's just almost barely showing up right here. But it's not showing up here. Uh, on, on my overhead camera, it's not showing up at all as having changed in color. It's just looking darker. In real life, the change is stark. It is very stark. It's very obvious. The contrast is, you know, you can't get more obvious than that. Um, oh, wow. Well, this is, well, now above his head, it's completely and totally pink. It's completely and totally pink. But again, on camera, I don't know what it's showing up as. It might not be showing up as pink, like at all. God knows what it's showing up as. Oh, no, no, on camera it is showing up as pink, but just a little bit. It's not as vibrant and as oof as it is in real life, you know. But these are neon colors that I'm using, even though at the moment, because of the background, it doesn't look neon at all. But these are definitely neon colors. Yeah, see, now, now in real life, this is a stark contrast. This is definitely purple. This is definitely pink now. I'm glad with that. I'm happy. I am happy. Happy. So. Wow, that is pink.
at least on camera you can definitely see the change right here you know in real life it, it looks a lot better the color looks just so much better um, the streakiness looks worse <laughs> Sorry that I'm so silent with this one. Again, I don't I don't really have much to say at the moment. I'm so happy that I've ordered more neon paint. <laughs> because I like these neons so much that I'm kind of going through them quickly here. I can't get enough of this paint. That and these little sets, they hardly put any paint in them at all. So that you end up going through them really, really, really quickly, unfortunately. And I will, you know, when, once I'm done with this, I am going to go ahead and obviously put another coat. Because this is this is now all pink. <laughs> it's even showing up on camera as pink. It's so pink that it's now showing up on camera as pink. Which I'm perfectly fine with because before it was way too blue. So, you know, I am going to obviously even out the colors to the best of my ability. You know, I am going to obviously do what I can to make this look as purple as possible. <laughs> but right now he's looking a little pinky. Just a little pink. There we go. There we go. That's pretty good. It's pink. <laughs> it's pink. But at least there's purple. I love this. On camera, this purple looks even better than it does in real life at the moment now. So that's that's different. Usually it's the other way around. Oh, and my side camera is not getting the... Uh, my side camera is making this neon pink, this neon magenta look very just plain and boring and yuck. It's it's not capturing the neon at all, which is really sad because it's it's a really good looking neon, you know. So yeah. Well, now comes the question. Oh, uh oh, oh my God. Oh, my camera quit. My overall, my overhead. So, uh, my overhead camera just stopped. Uh, apparently, it's it said it's switching to internal storage. I knew that there was something going on. I knew that there was something going wrong. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to cut to my side camera here if I'm able to edit it at all whatsoever. But 
I've never had that happen before. I've never had that experience before. So obviously I need to stop what I'm doing and unload, <laughs> completely unload. So yeah, that, that's unfortunate because I really, I really wanted to keep going here. I really wanted to keep going with all of this, but um, clearly I'm not going to be able to today. Uh, I need to stop and I need to edit or do whatever I'm going to do with these videos. So yeah, it's been nice. Um, and I'm glad that I managed to get to the purple one today. Uh, where's my little purple sticker? There we go. I'm glad that I managed to get to purple today and I managed to get to it, you know, by five, by five forty-seven. So there's, there's a pretty lucky number. So there we go. There we go. By five o'clock today, I managed to hit purple. <laughs> I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to stop here and I'll see y'all as soon as I can start painting again. And hopefully I can start painting again by tomorrow. So bye for now. And thanks for stopping by. Bye.